All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Conservatish episode 189. My name is Peter Feliciano and I'm using a new fucking app to record this. So I hope it's going to go okay. Um, the guy next to me, his, not, his name is not Cinco. I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> He's changed it like 48 fucking times, this motherfucker. Uh, but for our, for my listeners, K is back, number three with K. Um, and uh, wherever you're listening, make sure you subscribe, whether it be iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, wherever. Make sure you share this with your less offendable friends. Leave a comment, like it, and uh, find me on Instagram at Peter underscore Feliciano. Find me on TikTok at, or no, on TikTok at Peter underscore Feliciano. Get it right. Huh? Well, don't, right. You know what? God damn it. Um, stop being so, <laughs> stop being so <laughs> upbeat. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, I love you all very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Cinco, AKA Shaman, AKA K, AKA 48 million, whatever things your name is. Welcome. Um, what's up? I'm what glad up? to be doing this again with you, man. This is so fucking fun. I'm actually jealous. I want to do that. I want to have vapes in my mouth. I'm going to grab some at some point. Do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, first things first, where can people find you? Uh, they can find me in New York, maybe Jersey these days. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> don't you want to? Don't you want to? No, listen. No, some of my, my digital real estate is failing for that reason. I'll joke it. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm fucking with you. No, you guys can find me at, at K Cassells, like K E C A S S. E L L S on Instagram. And if you go to Facebook, that Cinco Shaman thing, just type that in and maybe some guy that looks like me will pop up in a name similar enough. But um, SoundCloud, you can find Cake and Cells on there as well. I got some really good fucking music. Just make sure you check that out. And then stay tuned for my YouTube channel coming out that I probably mentioned that'll be coming out on your last episode that we did. Maybe, I don't know. At that point, you know, I, I was definitely working on it, but I don't know if I like got public with the development. I'm going to I'm going to share I'm going to share that screen that shows your Instagram right motherfucking now. Ah, fucking lit. This is so convenient. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. It's look, amazing. Look. That's you. Everybody yeah. follow him right now. So before you even scroll, just do that or I'll kill you. Yeah, I, he will. All right, so we are back now. Um, first things first, I wanted to uh, uh, <laughs> I wanted to have you on because I always enjoy our conversations. But one of the things was, and you and I have talked about. I think you and I talked about this earlier today. Mm -hmm. uh, is that motherfuckers who don't have white blood, fully white blood, whatever we need? Motherfuckers who are gay, motherfuckers who are trans, motherfuckers who have a vagina, listen, or have the genitalia that they don't feel like they are. Stand the fuck up, okay? Speak the fuck up because white white people cannot hear you over their white guilt. Their white guilt, yeah. they followed last year, especially in George Floyd, some really well-meaning people followed a bunch of Instagram accounts that had black squares. They followed their Tom Hankses. They followed their people who are falling in step, oh, we are with the shit, and they don't have access to your voice. And so they say things like, white people need to shut up. White people don't get to have a say. Yeah. Just listen to black people. And listen to me, white liberals, when I say this. You were lying. When you said just listen to black people, you didn't yeah. mean it. And I want you to say it to my fucking face. Uh -huh. You did not mean it when you said it. You were lying to yourself and you were lying to everybody else on Facebook when you said just listen to black people. Because here's all the fucking tons of black people who disagree with CRT, who disagree with Biden's fucking policies, who disagree that uh, uh, that black people are being killed in the streets. You don't want to hear it. You just want to hear the stuff that makes you feel guilty because you're sick fucking masochists. OK, so sorry, I just needed to go on that quick rant. Dude, but am I allowed to like say anything these days? Sure. Listen, Dude. I raise my hand because black people like who are conservative, right? It's not. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Hey, get some fucking permission out this bitch when we talk about politics. Mm. But you know, it's it's. I'm glad you bring this up. I'm glad you bring this up. Um, there's so many times where I'm at work or whatever, like I'm in a very 
familiar setting and people who have uh, some melon going on, they make certain gestures or certain comments as if I'm supposed to just fall in line and just agree. And I've been very conspicuous lately about making that a point. Like, no, like, we're not going to do that. Like, you know what I mean? Or at least I'll, I'll make you feel that I'm not, like, you know, really feeling that. And it's just like this, again, the reverse racism thing. It's like, where where is that, where is this coming from? What is What is setting the stage for that? And we spoke a little bit about this, you know, the whole critical race theory, blah, 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 you know, white guilt. All of this is conjuring up a very awkward conversation or or two conversations, I think, that one is just, it be, desperately needs to be had and one that's just completely dishonest. And and that one, one of them, the premier one is what you mentioned, which is they can't, we, they can't hear you over, no black people, they're, you know, they need help. They need the, the assistance. They need the support. They need da 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 But it's like, no, uh, let me tell it real quick. You know what I mean? Like, let, let me at least have to say, because even I can't speak for all black people. So you definitely shouldn't be. You know what I mean? So, you know, I appreciate you. You know, this is a very vital point in time and history to talk about this, too. You know, especially with uh, who we have allegedly in the White House. Um <laughs> <laughs> you ain't black like i mean i, I was thinking about that quote today like like you know like wow like people still voted for him like like wow like people that i know was what i mean like like i can actually confirm that they actually after that um wholeheartedly like you know wanted to and it's just like you know we have to be a little bit more responsible with our like removing the feelings from all of the shit. Like when you hit that booth and like, you know, even with the quotes, like, you know, alleged quotes, what are the policies? What are the, what is the the platform? What is being offered to our, to the black community in order for us to truly feel that we have, that, that we have a voice when we come to the table with these conversations, you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So anyway, take it away, give me some words. And another, and another thing is to, I'm, you know, I'm a Habsy. You know what I mean? I'm a Habsy. I'm 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 50 percent Puerto Rican. Puerto Ricans are essentially Spanish. My, my dad, we're, we were talking about it the other day because that's my Puerto Rican side. And we were talking about how Sp uh, Puerto Ricans are Spanish, uh, uh, black and Taino Indian. So we're a weird mix of all kinds of shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, why should somebody like if. if if you're, <laughs> what if there was somebody who disagreed with a ton of what Trump did and did and said and blah, 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 but also really disliked abortion? Right. Would they be allowed to mentally make that decision for themselves and go, you know what? I don't want babies to be killed. So I think this is more important on the scale of things. Like, but no. You ain't black, is right? What I said. Now, I will throw in just a quick thing. I will throw in just a quick thing, and this is gonna piss some people off. <laughs> You're good at that. I, I am good at that. I understand what Biden was saying by saying that. Now, uh, calm, down, calm, down. calm down, conservatives. I know you're like. No. Now, I personally believe he, I believe he doesn't give a fuck about black. Yeah, no, he doesn't give a fuck about any of that. He just yo, bro, you're money, on something. I got money, this. power, money, power. Thank you, money, please, money. That's all he cares about, right? right. Like most politicians, right? Mm -hmm. But in that context of being on a show with Charlemagne the God, <laughs> on the context of being with that dumb motherfucker on that show, mm -hmm. his stupid words, he was. Kinda, I could see that he was trying to pander to the black people who would say that. Of course, I, I don't. Yeah, think I get it. Believes that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's it was one of those things. Where I, I honestly think it was partially, at least somewhat, a gaffe. But it's also again to your point. This is why I say you're on to something. Like you if he were to say that casually off the air not around any conservatives or anybody who's completely impartial independence then that's a go that's a pass I, re realistically right like nobody's going to say oh he's he's bugging for that but no 
because Charlemagne the God understands that he's under a microscope and that, you know, it's not just his little blue people, you know, around to criticize. No, like now he has to be more impartial and kind of like give him a little bit of pushback. And now people are like giving that more honest or more thorough evaluation of that quote. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Yeah. I kind of I file it away in the same way he said in, in uh, 2012. I think it was Mitt Romney. The, he wants to put you all back in chains. Yeah. Yeah. He's that. trying to speak to he did a better job than Trump did regarding uh, 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 pandering to get the black vote of black of black people who don't think critically. <laughs> right, right, right. I get it. I get it. I get it. Now yeah. I know liberals are, right now they they their sphincter tightened up a little yeah, bit. Wait, yeah, black yeah, people, yeah, yeah. black <laughs> people are really smart as long as they vote for my side. Because remember, <laughs> exactly. liberals, remember you did turn the side, you did turn the table last year. You said just listen to black people, except for Fifty Cent and Cube. Okay, except for the people because they just want oh, they just get Wayne. Lil Wayne just wants money. Yeah, 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 yeah. So listen to black people, except for those black people, you know, or or those people that just they, you know what I mean. So, but in that context specifically, I think he was a pandering cocksucker. I don't think Biden was actually saying. Yeah, yeah. Of course. I mean, let's be real. Like, come on. Uh, Conservatives tend to juice things because it's like we kind of have to, right? Like. I say we, but like the thing, I mean, non-Democrats, because the Democrats own the mainstream narrative. So it's like the things that we respond to is what is given life to. So it's not like we can just come out like it's essentially where it is now with social media. It's a little different. But when the one side hijacks the mainstream narrative that the entire world is watching by default, it's like now we have to essentially be reactive. Right. Right. I get that. I get that. You know? And then I'll also add to that, too, is the idea that um, along with that, as far as on the hypocrite angle, 100 percent, 100 percent on the hypocrite angle. Hey, whatever you need to do. Like I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking like last year, remember how everybody was like, Tom Hanks is a pedophile, right? I'm like, I wasn't on the Tom Hanks is a pedophile train. I don't know why. Like, I, I don't know why. I think we might have brushed on that, maybe whether it was on or off the record. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I got you. Right, a bunch of conservatives were like Tom Hanks. I'm like, all right, right. Like, I there's bigger fish to fry. Like, I don't think Tom Hanks is one of them fish. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't mean there's bigger fish to fry. Like, we shouldn't process. I know, I know, I know what you mean. I know, I know, I know exactly. Because <laughs> yeah, um, fry, fry that fish. No, like, oh yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, but if if hold on, guys, hold on. If that's the case. I want to be clear. I don't want to get any fucking legal <laughs> legal right, shit. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was thinking last week. Uh, Tom Hanks said in some article or some bullshit uh, that uh, movies should be uh, more about showing the burden of race, racism, showing the burden of racism. So Tom Hanks is calling for more, more, more movies and TV shows oh, okay. showing racism. <laughs> yeah, you, did you know that the guys who made like um. Game of fucking Thrones, like right after, like went to like some fucking like racial fucking. I, it's just so funny to me. I'm like, why, why, guys? Give they, some they, they went to racial training. Some, some, it was like you know the the slavery times in fucking U.S. Modern slavery. I don't fucking dude. Like my thing is like, yo, like we give us more fucking dragons. Like we got enough of that. We got. I could watch Roots tomorrow. Like I, it came out. <laughs> like, oh, fuck, dog. Like come on. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, not only roots, but like every single every, no, like something said. that came out yesterday, last week. Like, I get it, I get it. You guys want to get poor CRT on the kids? I get it. Okay, all right. Right, you're just oh, somebody yeah, black had a hard time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, but why I brought that up is because uh, I was like, listen, if it'll get Tom Hanks off of uh, Hollywood's leadership board, <laughs> that nigga's a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, dude. No more movies. No more TV. Fuck you. Dude, say goodbye to every sponsor that I don't have yet. Oh, fuck, <laughs> fuck with you. Yo, Hollywood is done. Fuck y'all. We here. Like, we're, we we really here. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. How about that? We really here.
really here. Yeah, Bobby Schmurter is no, the Bobby Schmurter. <laughs> not Bobby Schmurter. No. Listen, the whole Hollywood narrative, like the it's done. It's like Tom Hanks could come out and say whatever, but half of his fans don't know because guess what? They lost the job. They're you know they're too busy worried about their skin color being fucking judged. Like you get what I'm saying? Like shit like that. Like. It's not about the it, uh, another individual with power anymore, unless you go to the shade room on a regular basis. That's, that's a different story. But like overall, the general sense is like, there's fucking as far as a lot most people are concerned, something going on, right? Let's take the pandemic for example. Whether it's faked or not, whether some real shit is going on, that's what people are focused on. They don't give a fuck if Tom Hanks wants more slave movies, right? Or you, you know what I mean? Like this is where we're at, conservative dog like what you're doing is fucking remarkable dog you're gonna have a day where like you'll just have like massive people just binging all 189 one video because they're tired of fucking hearing from tom hanks like they're like dog, like you know what i mean i just binged all your movies last week dog like all right like make another movie i want to hear from somebody who actually has something to say about what i'm actually experiencing mm. You get what I mean? And wants to hear from them. Because the reality is, is like, I mean, yes, I have had a shit ton of con conservatives on my show. But like, I mean, when I started the show, I wanted it to just be a long form shit and, and have conversations with every type of person. I have. And I have. But like, I've really started bulking up the majority of my episodes to be black conservatives and people of color conservatives for the last year. Because it's like... Hey, this is the main fight. I'm it sorry, is. but identity politics must yeah. fucking die. It it must it fucking die. But it's very deliberate because it's the biggest distraction from the real, like the, the the overarching division, which is like division within the black community, within the genders in the black community. I'll I'll, I'll add another one. The real one is class. Class. Yeah. No. Yeah. I was gonna get to that. Yeah. It's, it's like what? But my point is like you have division within certain minority groups like so it's like super fucked by the time we figure out oh george Soros is doing what who gives a fuck like, you know, like no that guy is looking at me weird and my skin is way darker than his like that's that's the narrative you get what i'm saying it's like does that still happen <laughs> patrice used to talk about that all the time <laughs> Yeah, bro. No, I, I don't know enough light, light, light skin motherfuckers. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. well, because back in the day, obviously everybody, you know, there was divisions and there was. I mean, Q-Tip had that fucking line about, or no, 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 it wasn't Q-Tip. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, Q-Tip said to me in the in the me myself and I in uh, De La Soul song. Yeah, Q-Tip said like, don't worry about you know whatever. <laughs> Rack, yeah. mirror, mirror on the wall. Yeah. Um, but. Is that still happening now, even though racism is constantly yeah. in the fucking narrative? That's the question. Um, yes, <laughs> but no. Like, I mean, like, what what doesn't happen? There's nothing new under the sun, but it's just a matter of the data being properly represented. This this is all it is. It's like someone telling me that they had a horrible experience with the police and that they're you know the horrible experience with the justice system like i'll never disregard it i'll never disregard it but how often does it happen what's your role what what's the part of the story that i don't know like i'm not going to conclude like you know these like a guilty uh, a guilty liberal white liberal that you know this person is completely like like they're good like you know what i mean like no you're you're picking on them you're abusing them sorry no i want to be critical actual critical <laughs> actual critical Right. You know, um, so let's talk about a couple of things. Number one, and I'm just I'm, I, thank you, everybody, for your patience. If this doesn't work out well, because I'm I'm new to this shit. Um, but I'm going to share the screen of this shit right here. Take your time. Take your time. Don't. Hurt oh, well, thank you very much. Look at how professional my show looks now. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, dude. Oh. OK. Conservatives, man. Price going up. <laughs> <laughs> not to start charging for appearances, right? Give me, give me a discount though, because I like that. Oh, oh, of course, the black guy's asking for a discount. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Yo. when you and I record, when you and I record, it's the age-old fight between Puerto Ricans and black. Who can yeah. be more late? Who can be more late? 
<laughs> yeah, no, I know. Dominican stew, whatever. Hey, let's, let's 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 go there. Let's go there. Let's go here. Since we're here, let's go. What, here. CRT or two? Let's do it. Like? No, no, CRT. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Let's do it. All right. <clears throat> so when you Google CRT, what is critical race theory? Uh, critical race theory, this is from Insider Magazine, uh, is a lucrative obsession for the Republicans because the party is, quote unquote, offended by the political focus on racism and racial justice. Oh, is that right? <laughs> is that right? So the analysis gives us a couple of breakdowns. But I wanted specifically to look, why is the GOP turning it into an issue? The GOP campaign against critical race theory, which distorts the concept, distorts the concept is linked to a broader effort to stifle or invalidate conversations on the pervasiveness of racism in the U.S. in relation to history, experts say. Experts say, first things first, suck my dick with experts. You can't just throw in experts say. Because yeah, I, it's, I also it's pseudoscience. It's pseudoscience. pseudoscience. What is critical race theory? Critical race theorists look at America's history of racism and discrimination continues to impact the country today. And this is from Kimberley. Crenshaw, a founding critical race theorist, who I guarantee, who I guarantee has a fupa. Okay, the more no, you do, do, I can get in trouble with you, bro. You got to take it easy. I'm the black guy that you got to take it easy with, because I'm already crazy as is. So, yo. <laughs> well, you don't want to talk about fupas? I'm serious. The more there is a direct proportion, the more you fight for racial injustice, the bigger your fupa. You ever seen those like mixed girls who like wear? <laughs> Did you need? <laughs> Are Dude, putting, I, like I said, I can't. I, are you putting in headphones? I'm trying to test it out. Like, I, it's just there. <laughs> no. uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm just, I'm sorry, right, don't so get sorry. in trouble, motherfucker. Don't yeah, get in no, trouble. I'm, like, I'm trying to change the topic in like such a, an adorable way, bro. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm so sorry. No, all jokes aside, though, I wanted to see if it would work. Uh, I was kind of worried about the background here. noise and stuff. It came out in my all right. Everything okay? Everything's good. Right. Foop, right. foop, no foop was slapping me on this. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is critical race theory? Critical race theory is a practice. It's an approach to grappling with a history of white supremacy that rejects the belief that what's in the past is in the past and that laws and systems that grow from that past are detached from it. A founding critical race theory said. Now, here's the thing. What this chick is essentially saying Stop that. All right. What this chick is essentially saying is that, uh, how do I stop sharing? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Right, um, what this chick is saying and what, and a, what a bunch of, what a bunch of the, uh, a couple of the articles said, they were almost acting impish. Here's what I mean by that. They're saying, what? We just want to face the, the injustice. What's wrong yeah. with that? Yeah. Like, well, it's not that, if there were, and it's the same thing you and I were talking about. Yeah. If we agreed on the premise, yeah, we would be in the streets with you. That's it. Listen, liberals, if we agreed on the premise, I would be in the streets with you. Okay. I'm saying I don't agree with the premise. With it's it. not that I don't want to fix the yeah. system, blah, blah, blah. It's that I, I don't, don't agree that it's something to be really fucking fixed, like in that faction, especially. Sorry. Not sorry. No. No, no, yeah, it's, a good, it's exactly right. correct. Is that systemically, I don't agree that there's systemic racism. When I ask somebody to cite systemic racism, they say, uh, uh, cops. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've already, you and I, specifically on our show, mo on this show multiple times, exactly. have already dispelled all that shit. Yeah. We've already dispelled all that shit. Cops are not running black men down in the streets. Mm -hmm. That's not happening. Right. It's already been dispelled 58 fucking times, you white devil. Wait, wait, wait. With math and science. Real, 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 real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not pseudo math, not pseudo science. Real. But <laughs> wait, wait, single. K, uh, yeah. how, who taught you? Who taught you math? I thought you weren't able yeah, to get an yeah, ID. Yeah, 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 you weren't yeah, yeah. able to get I an ID. I don't know about you, bro, but I got a little bit of Puerto Rican in me, so <laughs> you feel me? I, I ain't feeling you on that time. Like I'm with you. We hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you didn't need a white person to hold your hand through the DMV to show you exactly. how to turn on Susan fucking Sarandon. Susan Sarandon shows up and shows you where to fucking sign the forms. Yo, Go. bro, I can't get in trouble with you, bro. I can't do this. I can't. I can't. I'm going to lose every sponsor that I don't have yet. 
Well, listen, here's the thing. Um, fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. That's the whole point. If fucking, if dum-dums, I mean, how do we, how are we this bad, by the way, just as a tangent? How are <laughs> capitalists this bad at creating a new platform? Bro, it's, it's, again, like, even, all right, all right. So I think if we were to have like a count off, right? If someone, if we were ha to have America go, okay, are you, do I, do you identify more with red or blue? Let's keep it red or blue. Cause I don't want to say how red or how blue. Let's say, what do you identify more with? If America halfway or maybe mostly said red, Let's be real. A lot of that is actually pink. A lot of them are new to politics and they just, they just, they just, they're rebellious. They want to go against the narrative, right? So I'm, I say all that to say, even with the media narrative, like, you know, like how it, it's shifting, there's still like this allegiance, like this uh, compass that immediately like shifts whenever there's like any doubt, like when in doubt, revert back to the narrative, right? And we still have that, and that's what the struggle is. I think that's what, why there's a struggle with really having these platforms, and you know, there's there's just a, a a luster to mainstream. It's a luster, even with CNN failing. There's a luster to it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's it's just what familiarity, familiarity. Like for example, CNN's numbers they might suck, but guess what? I'm getting content from them because I'm seeing the fucked up clips on Instagram. You know what I mean? So now it's like, again, you're go we're going to the beast to consume non-beast shit and beast shit. So it's like, yeah, th that's the whole point. You when you make these new platforms, it's a whole new world. Like you, it's like becoming a vegan or fucking becoming a monk. Like it's not your life is totally different. You can't. You, likely, you're not going to be around the same people. You know what I mean? So this this platform thing, the the inquiry that you just presented it's it's going to be an uphill battle i think parlor's done pretty okay um i thought um, they're dead now though yeah they said something about coming back i don't i, I haven't kept up i guess that says a lot but <laughs> you know what i'm saying like again to your point it's like people want to still slot in people want allies let's put it like that because i think on the red side their heart throughout they want union they want community they want that as we genuinely want that and so do the blue the only difference is like the blue they're they're so like fuck you out of this they, they can't the cancel culture they're the side of cancel culture so it's like whatever they they don't truly mean the uh, it's union at all costs so we kind of feel like we have something to lose when we leave something on the table where damn i could have converted to somebody because essentially in our minds we know better you get what I mean? Does that, I hope that that completely makes sense. Yeah, no, I mean, it's the similar thing to a bunch of people, and I've complained about it on the show many times, but where a bunch of people, I've got a friend who every time I post about something contentious, he'll comment, he's a person of color, he'll comment and say, yeah, that is true. And 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 the left is so hypocritical. Oh, who'd you vote for? Ooh, yeah. Fucking <laughs> Yeah. I'll fucking yeah. wring this motherfucker's neck. I swear it, to God. Because it's such it, a funnel. It's such a funnel. By the time they get to the vote, they're already diluted and compromised. You know what I mean? That's just how the media, dude, it's just so influential that it's like, even though they're seeing the fuck shit, they're seeing X, they're seeing Y, and they're seeing Z. Yeah, but Trump said Mexicans are bad people, man. Like, you know what I mean? He said that back in 2017. Why are we still talking about it? That's in their mind when they hit the voting booth, essentially. You know, I'm so, I, listen, yeah. I strongly believe that Trump got the popular vote by, I mean, acres. And then you have the black vote, I think, and I, based on my own consensus from my observation. 40 acres? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, I can't get in trouble with you, dog. I can't. But I, yo, dude, you, you're, you're a funny guy. No, um, it's like, ah. Uh. But I see what you're saying. You're. Are you also saying? 
you believe Trump won the popular vote. You believe Trump won the vote, but also the black, the popular black vote as well. Absolutely, by, by, I agree. With that. My observation, yeah. Even from the fucking Democrats' observation, yeah, there was a higher percentage of blacks, Mexicans, gays, and I think not women. I don't know, but of those three for sure that voted for Trump in twenty sixteen, sure. even by their numbers. But <clears throat> so again, the crux was probably dumb whites. <laughs> but the thing is, is that they were so hey. guilty once. All right. Can I call him dumb, please? Okay, just, this please. Once. just this once. Thank you. <laughs> um, but they were so programmed to believe that at their belly, it was like, even if they saw the fuck shit, even if they saw X, Y, Z, whatever, they still came into the booth and we were like, but I'm going to be bad. But you know what? I'm going to vote for Trump anyway, because I believe this is too much. So they vote for Trump. But that because they still have that in their belly, in their soul, right. that Trump is it racist, Trump is whatever. Yeah. When when he lost, they can believe it. They can believe it. Exactly. Yeah. And and, and that's the psyop. That's the big psyop. And that's where we come in. That's I where we come in. Get, yeah, as no, no, no. Yeah, as soon as I do a show with you, I'm like, we're gonna say the word psyop. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> this, this is exactly bro. It's like uh to take it to divinity, spirituality. This is our test. Essentially, this is our time. Like you know, we're going to look back at this time like, yo, remember when we had to struggle to break into this thing? And it's just going to flow. I know, dude, I really believe in, in every single word that you say on the show. I truly believe that every person that comes on the show and that you really, truly have a, a, a raw interaction with, it's, in, it's, making, it's, it's making waves. Shadow ban and all, dude, it's not going to last fucking ever. It's the internet. It's the fucking internet, baby. Figure it out. Cheat codes, you know. I'm trying, goddamn it! I'm fucking trying, uh, but I wish there was another lily pad I could jump onto that was that was sustainable. Yeah, you know I mean, even even the ones I've jumped on, like you know, I've even heard some people have Telegram. No, like none of them sound yeah sexy. You stupid fucking capitalist, make but, it sexy. But that's what that's that falls into exactly what I just said, right? It's like we're so focused on. Having allies and da da, we we still at the end of the day, damn, it would be lit on Instagram though. It would be lit on Facebook though. It's that that it's, it, that's what it comes down to. It comes down to the accessibility, yeah. the, the the eyes. You know what I mean? That's what it really comes down to, and that's the struggle because conservatives, we don't own the black ones. We don't. It's it's the same thing. It's the same thing as <clears throat> motherfuckers leaving LA because these are this is crazy. Blah blah blah, and then go. <laughs> Moving to Texas and, and, and then vote them. for the policies that they ran from. Yeah, right. It's what you're used to. It's what you're. It's what you're programmed to believe. And especially that white guilt, motherfucking shit. We need to kill that white guilt. I swear to God. Right. Yeah, if right. there's what, and I listen. Let me, because you've talked about. We've been self-referential on this show. We've talked about how wonderful I am and blah blah blah. Let me just add to this. This thing I was just thinking. I didn't go into this. I guess I went into this because I wanted to rant, mm -hmm. but I didn't want it to make a, a, a completely full on fucking political show. And I haven't. That's amazing, bro. Like, I, I love the story. story. You just broke it down. Like, yeah. Oh. I just, I didn't want to do this, but like, I, I feel like this is my fight. Just like exactly like you were saying. That hit a chord with me because I'm like, yeah, this is fuck. But I don't want to be saddled with this. I would much rather just make dick jokes and fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. And talk and talk to talk about sex and eating ass. I don't, I don't think I've mentioned <laughs> eating ass on my show in like six months. <laughs> it used to be a staple. And you're a very vulgar guy. I know you're, it's just killing you right now. Like you want to go back to your fucking dick and vagina <laughs> jokes, dude. I know. I feel you, bro. Because dog, my, my girl and I we talk about that show all the time, bro. It's like it would be a luxury to just focus on acquiring the things that just bring me immediate like gratification but like dude i'm so i'm so aware of what's going on i know so much of what's at stake that it's like dude fuck this all i want is for us to be okay all i want is harmony like you know what i mean i want that before i get fucking 25 billion dollars like, maybe the 25 billion would help to get to the harmony okay mm -hmm. never mind that's my priority the 25 billion and then we're no, but you you get my point. Like it, it's it's you feel so compelled to like you kind of feel compromised, but it's like a noble compromise. Yeah, you know, like you don't feel guilty about like feeling so compelled to 
speak about the shit that really just fucking pulls at your heart, man. Right. You know. And 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 I, and and that's sometimes why I speak with hyperbo- hyperbole. Hyperbole. That's why so sometimes I call them dumb motherfuckers. It's not because I, I genuinely think they're dumb. And I've called you cocksucker smart many times. Okay, white liberals. I've, yes. I've said you're very. I know very many white liberals who are kind, who are considerate, who know better, who are smart, who maybe don't do research but they want to. I, I said this on. Um, shout out Mark Hughes. Um, I was on. Uh, I was on with pulling the trigger with Mark Hughes. Uh, with he's a funny guy. He's a funny motherfucker. Um, he smells like cheese, though. I think he probably smells what like kind of cheese. cheese. I think he's like a Limburger or like like Limburger and heroin. You know what I mean? That's oh, what I, think. Okay, so I, I see. Know. See, okay, I'm probably gonna reveal it, but I don't know how either of those smell. <laughs> <laughs> like a fart. Yeah. Mark, Hughes, Mark Hughes smells like a fart in a meth cloud. All right, that's <laughs> like a oh, plastic that's and funk, bro. Uh, I, heard, I heard I heard it smells like catfish, like meth and and shit. Like, like I don't it. know. I haven't. I I've definitely smelled some meth. I've definitely smelled some. I've never smoked it. Um, and you know, fucking. But I know if I ever fucking drink again, yeah, it'd be yeah. great. <laughs> um, you would never see me again. That's just the reality. Oh, shit, okay. okay. Uh, and we'll stop it right at episode one eighty nine, <clears> and we'll yeah. just we'll take it to grave. Yeah. Um. But that's the, anyway. What what the fuck was I saying? Uh, I was sorry, like, we got a little carried away with our fucking beverages. Right. <laughs> I was on I was on Mark Hughes' show and I told this story. I know this teacher in a major city who is a smart girl, smart as fuck, in her mid thirties, smart and kind and genuine and thinks about things and blah 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 and cares. I mean, she's a good fucking teacher and cares about kids and does the specialty shit like she yeah. gives a fuck. But she also listens to NPR. And, <laughs> and this is what happened. This is a conversation pretty much verbatim that we had. Mm-hmm. I She asked me about, because she knows that I'm not liberal, so she 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 knows I'm a safe haven. All you white liberals, come talk to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on over. And she talks to me. She We were talking about um, I, uh, uh, voter ID. Mm-hmm. Oh, and she said, cool. And I was like, yeah, voter ID is not racist. They just need to have ID. And she's like, yeah, I, I agree it's not racist. But I also think it's a little, um, I think it's kind of redundant. Don't you think? And I'm like, what do you mean? Well, t- I mean, like, you know, we would have to go, like, to the DMV and get another ID to vote. And I'm like, no, that's, uh, not, that's okay. not what it is. It's just the one that's already in your pocket. Now this is a fucking <laughs> listen. This is a teacher, mama. This is a yo, bro, teacher, dog. No, 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 a no, no, smart, no. kind teacher no. who believes that we would all have to go to the DMV to get a special ID to vote. Okay, all right. Can I take this? All right, okay. I Please. want to take this to COVID really quick, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we talk about of stupidity. course, of course. So. Go. And oddly, this is the third time, third or fourth time today that I'm talking about this. But okay. early on in the pandemic, right? And I wish I would have saved a lot more of these, but there were these nurses that were transferred from mid south, you know, like let's say West Virginia, Virginia, up to the north, right? To the to the boroughs in New York. And there was this one particular woman. They were all essentially of this theme or whatever of this gist but this particular young one she was bought like she was so hysterical she said that people people are dying because of the nurses right like they're they're dying because they're not getting the proper treatment i we're, we're kind of taking it away from you know we're kind of digressing from that original point but to take to, you know to Piggyback on the point that these are professionals, right? These are professionals, and they're making vital mistakes such as that. Like, imagine what she's that teacher is telling her students, and how that carries over into that that child's like experience as a young adult. Like, you know what I mean? Like, because I'll be honest, there's some things that I've been unwrapping as an adult that I'm like, shit, like. Why didn't anybody tell me that for the past fucking 20 years? You know what I mean? Mm. 
these are kids. They don't know what they don't know. Da, da, da. They trust their teachers. We trust our nurses. We, we, there's a lot of trust. And, and where does that come from? It comes from, and when we talk about mainstream, it also trickles into education or the lack of it. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's a scary thing. And I, and I think there's going to be a major shift in how we do schooling. There's going to be a major shift in how we well, look as conservatives. So I think this is the prototypical platform for people. Like I love personally Prager you. Um, it's like you can binge through that shit and you're like fucking, a, you gain like 18 IQ points in like two hours. <laughs> right, right. I swear to God. And this channel is like to me of that prototype where it's providing like this, you know, like, holy fuck, this is not what you come across every day at all. Like, in fact, it's a miracle that I came across this information because what I learned in school or what my environment is feeding me will perpetually give me something that guides me away from that, those notions. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it takes me away from ever learning that. Ironically. It also takes you away from self-sufficiency. And that's, that's, listen, there was, you ever heard that, uh, you know, Colin, I mean, you're, a, you're a fan of Patrice and, and Colin and, or maybe not Colin, but definitely Patrice. I think you and I have talked about, right? No idea who you're talking about. Patrice O'Neill, the comic. Hi, Patrice. Yo, dude, you, you're putting me You're a bad pie. person. Yo, are I'm you even black? Are you, what are you? <laughs> you're not black. No. I ain't black. <laughs> um, there's there's a, a comedian, Patrice O'Neill, my favorite comic of all time. Yeah, and he was a funny guy. Oh, you do know Patrice O'Neill. No, you don't. You fucking not. You know what? Uh, anyway, Colin makes this joke about uh, uh, how paranoid black people can be. He's like, uh, just like, uh, just like Eskimos for snow, they have like 48 words for it. Charlie, the man, right? Yeah. Whatever the system, them, uh -huh. they, right? Yeah. White people, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and he said that they're so paranoid, right or wrong, he's just making an observation. It's like, if you go to the train stop in, in Brooklyn, you're like, is the, train, is the train coming? And they're like, supposed to be. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, that the paranoid vibe. Yeah, yeah, the, and I think we yeah. kind of need that. Yeah. I think we kind of need I that. that. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. And that used to be, just like, as an example, gays. Gays used to be fucking funny. And yeah, not I, wet blankets these days. I'm, but it, I, I'll, I'll actually respond to that, right? I have friends, right? Because my the in the career that I have, the industry, there's a lot of gay dudes, right? There's a lot of women too, so it works out, dude. Having these like these conversations, these con candid conversations, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. There, there's. Again, that, that mainstream narrative is that like these gay guys, they're like, you know, a lot, but like they actually see what's going on for what it is. Like they see like the media trying to turn conservatives and Trump supporters against them and shit like that. And it's really f refreshing to have that like, okay, so we're on the same, we're, we're at eye level right now. We're at, we're at, we have a common ground and I don't have to feel tense or feel like I can't even respond honestly to your uh political innuendo or whatever the case is you get what i'm saying like yeah. I, I just want to be feel comfortable around minority groups feel minority groups and be able to have these conversations without feeling all you know pc let's put it like that you know right and maybe these days maybe it's just the distraction of and maybe it's always been this way and we just didn't realize it but that idea of um and it was a valid idea that stupid fucking dum dums like Rage Against the Machine used to put out and blah 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 about being a passive consumer, a passive consumer. I'm just a consumer. Mm -hmm. And when you're young, you don't know any better. You know, when you're young, you just you learn. You trust your, your teachers. You trust your parents. You trust, and then you grow up and you get a little rebellious. But then you just want to get laid and figure out what's happening. Yeah. Try to like keep a job and like yeah. you need stability, right? Yeah. And once you get up to the another level. Maybe they're distracting us in some ways from from finding the real yeah. demons in our lives. Oh, with, for sure. Besides, with the racism bell, you know, and the oh, look over here, look over here, but also with the fucking shoes, okay? Yeah. <laughs> the white, white chic, okay? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the fucking, yeah. 
and the yeah. and the uh, uh, Cardi B and the other bullshit. Yep, 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 yep. For sure, bro. It's, it's <laughs> like uh, the itinerary for them, for 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 from them to us, is constant stimulation, constant stimulation, and then it gets to a point where we're overstimulated and we wouldn't even know because we're so used to. Hustle, bustle, hustle, bustle, hustle, bustle, hustle, bustle, hustle, bustle, hustle, bustle. And it's like, what chance do we really get to process how we really feel or what we may be feeling or the, the developing feelings? Like like you said, like, dude, I wish people would put me to the side like, yo, dude, I know you're feeling this way now or whatever, but like, this is what I experienced. I'm not trying to say that this is going to happen to you, but like, with, to your point, like, you start to figure things out it's like okay mom dad i hear you but shut the fuck up real quick like let me hear the voice in my head for a second let me actually hear that i wish i had like kind of somebody or or some guidance to you know granted it's not really a ideal thing to want i guess i mean realistically it's not practical but like somebody to really just show you like you know there's more to this narrative there's more to this zombie autopilot fucking life that we live microwave society that we live right i just i miss or not i miss but like i i think it would be a fucking shame to lose like one of the spiritual journeys that i've been on recently for the last couple of years especially mm -hmm. is been embracing my own voice right mm -hmm. i've always been rebellious right i've always been you know you know i, I don't trust motherfuckers blah 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 <clears throat> Um, but that I don't trust motherfuckers, it can be used for good. Yeah. To, to think that government is untrustworthy, except for when the guy I voted for is in office, mm -hmm. that's silly and myopic and childish. Right? Very much so. And, and I didn't trust the government when even Trump was in office. What I liked about and not not enough in some ways. In some ways, he was he was full of shit and whatever. But what I liked about Trump is that he was trying to curtail, or at least had the vibe of curtailing the awareness of curtailing right, right, government right. at all. Yeah, government at all. That oh, essentially, I doesn't. I'm not the most important. Let's cut taxes. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. The, let's let's yeah, let's you yeah, know. Yeah, bro. Yeah, stop throwing right. in. Bro, you articulated that very well. These are. This is how. This is why this is powerful. When you break it down, it's like, oh, I get it. That I see where you're coming from. So whether I agree or disagree, like at least I understand. Right. And then at least I can take that home with me. The issue is we're so la, 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 la. that's where we're at, and it's it's not getting anywhere. Your you your gift, I, I have the gift too. But you 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 really you seem to really have a subtle command of it. You you know how to just just give it to people in like a frank way where it's like dude if you give me any type of rebuttal or, or resistance like, like i'm checked out like you know what i mean like it's, it's just like what are we doing <laughs> genuinely i mean bro Thank and this is much. what we need we need digestibility that's what the, the 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 right doesn't have we don't have digestibility and and god damn it listen i'm happy like i i i one of the most unpopular things that was News to me about, and I've said this on the show. Uh, news to me about my coming out as non-being liberal was 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 abortion. I was yeah. like, "Yeah, oh, am I am I pro-life? Ew, what the? Yeah, I, know, I didn't want to be pro-life for years. I just uh, everybody pro-life, just yeah. like was George, just like George Carlin Good. said. Yeah. Have you ever noticed that nobody pro-life you want to fuck in the first yeah. place? Yeah. That's what I believed. They just the want to have fun. That's crazy." Right when I did the research into it, I'm like, oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I, I agree um, with this shit. Yeah, dude. You know, it's funny. I'm very anti-abortion, but like, you know, when you get really vivid, you get really, you know, it's it's bad. It's it's like, you know, we, we were talking about the single issue voting thing earlier, where it's like, you know, okay, well, I'm against, you know, um, high taxes, or I'm against abortion, so. That's it, like the funnel thing, right? It's like by the time you get to the end of the funnel, what we need to be more responsible. Like, what is it that got me to this candidate, and what is it that got me to that candidate? And 
at what point do we draw the line and just not vote at all? So my, my very first time voting was this past election. My very mm -hmm. first time. You know, my very, very first time. And um, why, why do you think that was? It was because I didn't trust the candidates um, at all. Never. Um, before then? Before then, um, including Trump in 16. I just thought, oh, run of them all. They, they, they were all selected anyway. Um, but to be honest, like when, after a while, I started paying more attention to uh, Trump's interviews. I started reading his policies, you know, his actual accomplishments. And that's what did it for me. You know, that's what did it for me. And that's and that's why I'm very conspicuous about talking about, I'm, you know, feeding a fed horse. I don't give a fuck. You know, it's like, you know, what we were talking about earlier, I wish somebody was there to tell me that little thing so that by the time I hit 27, it wasn't such a shock. It wasn't such a, you know, uphill battle, an uphill battle because, you know, I actually had that time to, you know, anticipate it. Okay, well, guys, I'm going to plant the seed that orange man, not bad. Not bad. I mean, God, Jesus Christ, Trump is not bad. You know what I mean? He's, he's, you know, like, it's that's a very, you know, my new like you know whatever that's very packed what i'm saying is there's more to it than just what the media is like just spewing there's more and it's up to you to come to that determination not a headline not like a trump ba -ba -ba -ba, which makes him the ba -ba 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 president of all time that's not even it's not news that's pseudo news <laughs> right you know a lot of the times it's opinion shit a lot of times it's yeah. opinion Someone said great. Someone said a great. Uh, uh, and I don't know if it's 100 percent true because I haven't looked at The New York Times. Thank God. Um, but someone shared a meme that uh, uh, a high school, a white high school girl saying the N word was front page news on The New York Times years, years ago. Right. But Hunter Biden saying it in text multiple times is not even mentioned by The New York Times at all, at all. At all. Now, <laughs> I'm a free speed absolutist. I let the yeah, motherfucker yeah, yeah. nigger. I don't care. Yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah. I don't. But I, he I, wants, I think it's hilarious. Right. I think it's hilarious. Go ahead. But but the hypocrisy of wanting to get people fired, essentially, yeah. not just fired, because fired is not enough for the cancel culture. Blood is Blood, not yeah, enough. Blood is not enough. Yeah. Blood is not enough. But. Um, Hearing shit like that and 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 realizing shit like that is like well, that's interesting. Why you know what I mean? So let's if you're if you're you okay on time to go a little longer? Maybe, maybe like a, a few more minutes. A few more minutes. Okay. Yeah. yeah let's yeah. let's 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 rapid fire a couple examples. Yeah. And rapid fire. Debunk, like, let's like rapid it. fire a couple of debunk uh, and debunk a couple of uh, Trump racists. Okay. Um, did he call uh, Mexicans rapists? No. He did. Okay. He called some of them the bad ones, the rapists. And there's thirteen. He them, yeah, he called the he called the Mexican rapists rapists. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what he did. <laughs> what a great answer! <laughs> I, 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 I think. I mean, at yeah. least I think. Like, no, yeah, that's stupid. what it was. That's what it is. That's what fucking it is. Stupid. It was fucking stupid. Yeah. All you got to do is look it up once. I, I just, I. All right, fine. Did he call white supremacists fine people? No, he did not. He did not. He said there were people who were demonstrating against taking the statues down. And there were some people who were fucking assholes. But there were some people within that group that were good people. They genuinely just did wanted to preserve history. And in conjunction with those people, the opposite side or whatever, they were good people too, because they were just virtuous people. They just want to take down fucking statues that they're offended by, right? So when he says good people on both sides, he says, not nah, talking about the Nazis, not nah, talking about the white supremacists, not talking he about that. that. He, he said, said that. Exactly. Said that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. literally said that. <clears throat> and blah, blah, blah. When people tell me, do your research, and I mention that, and it's like 2020, and they're still, you know, going at, like, dude, you don't know what you're talking about. I, I what is shutting down? I, the conversation's over. I'm, I, you know, because it's like, that's the premier thing that got me. Well, one of the premier things. It was like good people on both sides, 
okay, that's pretty weird to say as a president who says that he's not racist and da 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 whatever. And then you really read the whole transcript or you watch the entire transcript and you're like, whoa. Like, there's something really serious going on. Like, and why are they doing this? Well, like, why why such an elaborate effort? But anyway, right. next. Uh, another one was, uh, and I looked this up uh, specifically on this. Should I even share it? No, nah, I don't care. Um, do, 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 do. No, God damn it. Get me to the right thing. Uh, okay, so uh, did, uh, here we go. Did Trump call protesters, George Floyd protesters, thugs? Oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> he called the thugs that were protesting thugs. <laughs> uh, all right. What do you mean by that, Kate? He, he said, if you're thugging out in this bitch, you're a thug. You're, you know what I mean? Like, let Honestly, that quote right there, when when he mentioned that, like it was, it, it was a juicy time. It was actually funny because I, it was so like whatever. I didn't even dive into it. Like I was just like, it was, because it was again, it was the Charlottesville all over again. And I'm like, they're gonna do the same exact thing. I never, it's like, or the 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 Mexican, all Mexicans are racist, rapists. It's like, dude, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would never say to you, Pete, like. Dude, like I heard what you said. I know what you said. I know what you said. I know what you said. When someone else told me that you said it, I would never, ever. Why is it so hard to just? And let me add to that. God damn it! That's one of the stalwarts of the fucking black fucking ghetto ass community. Is word on the street? Okay. Is you don't fucking snitch why is the black community becoming <laughs> fucking snitches oh, yeah, no, no. i thought you guys were the you guys were holding your balls while these black people were running around <laughs> with their jeans up to their yeah, nipples exactly exactly what the no, fuck? Bro, you guys were supposed point. to be the cool ones what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> no bro that's a great point that's perspective dog like for real for real wow so but anyway on yeah. on that on that on that tweet tip he said these thugs are dishonoring the memory of George Floyd. So in the same in the same tweet, he's okay. saying he's honoring the memory of George Floyd, saying protesters, he even said, what did he say? Protesters, I, I, remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have the article, uh, God damn it. Yeah, this is why I, I gotta be better at, well, I just, I literally just downloaded this fucking app, so whatever. Essentially he said, protesting's fine, peaceful protests on either side, Right, right. fine. But when you start looting, when looting you start and yeah, that, that's that's exactly what he was saying. When you start being a thug, you're thugging out in this bitch, and I don't fuck with it. And then to your point, it's not like he was violating George Floyd. He he sh he shouted him out. He was like, yeah, yo, don't violate George Floyd. Like honor him. Like we're honoring him, and you guys are acting like fucking monkeys. Oh, he didn't actually say that because he <laughs> definitely yeah, yeah, we definitely said about that. Yeah. But, right. Yeah. Um. And yeah, that, and we'll, we'll end with this. I just, I feel again, the willful disregarding of context is uh, an abhorrent thing, whether it be on the right or the left. Yeah. Okay? Um, uh, uh, and, and I really feel like people are intentionally being dishonest. Patrice O'Neill said that beautiful quote. We said, we all let context be destroyed. It started, maybe it started before comedy, but the part that it caught me, because I've always been a fan of comedy, wasn't comedy. Someone said, nigga, that means that they're bad. And we look it up on a chart, and the chart says, if you say nigga, that means you're a racist. But, right, 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 right. but if you say, but if you say cunt, yeah. does that mean you hate women? No. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, yeah. You're trying to say hyper, like you're trying to be yeah. funny, yeah. but we all let context be context. destroyed. Yeah, you're right. Wow, that's so, wow. <laughs> And and the reality is, is in order to get people to connect back to us, again, we'll close with this, with, we'll bookcase it with, in order to keep the foot in the door of the conversation, people who are not white men have to stand up. I'm sorry. This is going to sound fucked up. It's real, though. We, ever, anyway, we have to stand up for white men. <laughs> no, no, no. Real, real shit, though. Bro, for real. They got, they got this, this level of stress. It's like, yo, dude. 
you, and I was talking to my, my Lyft driver about this earlier today from, on the way back from work. He said, you know, he had a, he's some black guy. He's like super black guy. From New Jersey. And he had this one um, uh, white passenger. And the guy was basically like, really like nonchalant, like whatever, fuck this. But he was like, you know, fuck this bullshit. Like, you know, this white guilt, shit, like, you know, putting, placing guilt on white guys. Da, da, da. Like, we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. And because he had that attitude, that driver, he was like, you know, that's when he knew he was like, wow, these white people are tired of this shit. They're tired of the, the, the narrative. But anyway, dude, hey, this is so fun, man. We gotta, we gotta run this back. Like, yes, sir. Yeah, I always have a good time having combos with you, so I appreciate yeah. you, man. Yeah. Um, and uh, please, again, uh, share share your- uh, Oh, my, some your, plugs. So yes, sir. Instagram is Kate Casals, K E C A S S E L L S. And then you also have a, an alternate page, which is Viente Cinco. The Cinco is actually in five, Shamor. I mean, we'll, we'll figure that out. It's a whole lot of characters. And then you also have Facebook, um, Viente Cinco Shamor. You can just actually spelled out Shamor is S H A M U R. And then SoundCloud, Kate Casals. I mean, so. Yes, sir. Yeah, Look at my beautiful pictures up there. <laughs> so, yeah. And let me stop the screen now. There we go. Um, thank you very much. Oh, everybody listen, listening right now, everybody watching this, share this. Okay, share this. As Kay said many times, I am the best. So if you don't share, you're a racist and you're flying in the face of incredible talent. Yeah, yeah. And um, for the reason you probably, you probably are xenophobic too somehow. <laughs> Yay! Uh, and uh, you can find me on Instagram at Peter underscore Feliciano and at Conservatish is my backup. And you can uh, find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash rule 62 Pete on TikTok at tiktok.com slash rules or Peter underscore Feliciano and uh, patreon.com slash Conservatish. Thank you very much. Sync OK, whatever you're going by now. Awesome. And uh, again, I really appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Likewise, bro, man. Love you, man. All right. Have a good night, man.